it's exactly around this time, 7.30, 35 years ago. On that afternoon, when I went up Chamundi Hill, <clears throat> I had no idea what was coming my way. Just around three o'clock, I closed my eyes and opened my eyes just about <laughs> For the first time in my life, tears of <sighs> seamless love and nameless ecstasies On that day, I lost everything I had. The smart, <coughs> the smart young man I thought I was, was gone. How oh, very… I prided myself that I was a very intelligent human being, that was gone. And I must tell you this, a little later than this, maybe around 8.15, I got the courage to write down to Mysore city I went down to my office, it's a construction office, a payment day. When people had lined up, I went and parked in front of my office, looked inside. My partner was working, distributing money to the material suppliers. I was supposed to be there. But I looked at this, suddenly I knew I had lost my business which I had built. So I did not get off the motorcycle, I just rode on. It's the last time I went there. The tough young man, was in tears. <laughs> Not for any reason, simply <clears throat> waves of ec ecstasy built in within me. And at the same time, Everything that I knew as myself and my life was gone, just in one moment. So I went and sat on a lake in Mysore. We also have a lake in Mysore, not as big as this one, but a beautiful lake. I went and sat there and uh, I saw it was around eleven o'clock, I wanted to go home but I did not want to go because I knew I had lost my mother.
I did not want to see her, so I thought I will wait till she goes to bed. So around 11.30, I quietly switched off the motorcycle, rolled down, parked there and went inside. But these Indian mothers, she was still waiting with dinner. So I went, put down my head, simply quickly ate without looking at her. Because uh, all relationships, everything I had, everything that I was, was gone. But I was bursting with ecstasy. Everything that meant anything to me was gone. But a new force, a divine ecstasy, was throbbing in every cell of my body. And thirty-five years later, here I am with you.